As you may know, SMC parts have a very high initial investment cost due to the expensive steel tooling required to run them. They also require a post-paint process. The result is a significant upfront investment and a more complicated supply chain to coordinate between molding and the painting capabilities. And that typically makes a lower volume production run unprofitable. But no worries, we're here to help you solve that problem. We're going to show you how to be more competitive by knowing your tooling cost options, the pros and the cons. We'll show you how to get full scale production quality, but with a lower initial investment. We'll also show you how to get the best optimized piece price and surface quality for your products to meet your customers' needs. Not all projects can justify spending a significant amount of money on tooling to get the project started and launched. Fortunately, there are ways to save some money and still get high quality parts. Since SMC requires tooling that has the ability to withstand high molding forces, high temperatures, steel is primarily used. With reaction injection molding, the molding pressures are less and the heat required is less. So we can typically save at least 30% in tooling cost by using materials for the molds like aluminum or even for prototypes epoxy molds, saving lots of money on the initial investment for the project. With composites, painting can be difficult and sometimes costly due to secondary operations being required to achieve the finished part. This complexity requires the SMC process to have at least three different process steps to complete a product, molding, prepping, and painting. An alternative solution to achieving a finished painted part is to in-mold paint it, which combines the molding process and the painting process, but also eliminates the need for the prepping step since the paint is done all within the mold. By combining the process steps into one, the cost is lowered by reducing material handling steps, provides real-time feedback on molding and part quality, as you can see the defects right at the molding step. And it requires less labor to finish the part that is ready to be put in the box and get into the customer's hands. Everyone wants their products to stand out in a crowd. SMC does a good job at providing smooth painted surfaces, but what if you want more than just a smooth look? With reaction injection molding, the mold surfaces are textured to achieve the exact polish or texture that you're looking for. Combined with the in-mold painting process, you can blend both smooth and textured surfaces together in the same part without sacrificing the appearance of either. This is because our paint is applied in the mold and it takes the exact shape of the mold surface where post-applied paint processes tend to smooth out or fill in the grain and lose some of that definition the customer's looking for. You don't have to make those appearance sacrifices anymore. There are solutions available, and we're happy to discuss with you how to achieve them. <laughs>